Hello everyone, welcome to another video where we will be discussing about AI Agent Studio. Let's quickly jump into the video. So what is AI Agent Studio? So this is a platform or you can say a module in service now where you can create, manage or test your AI agents and agentic workflows. I have discussed in the previous video what are agentic workflows and AI agents. So if you want to create a new workflow or edit an existing agentic workflow, this is the place where you do it and you can also configure your AI agents. Now if you want to start using agentic AI in your ServiceNow instance, you should have a ServiceNow Pro Plus license or Enterprise Plus license and your instance should be on Zenaidu Patch 7 Plus or Yokohama or later. And thirdly, in your ServiceNow instance, AI search should be enabled. One more thing, if you are logged in as admin, that's all right. But if you want to assign some developer a role just to look at agentic workflows and AI agents and manage them and create them, then you can directly assign them SN underscore AIA underscore admin role. And with this role, they would be able to do things only on AI Agent Studio. Now let's go into ServiceNow and see how this AI Agent Studio looks like. I'm in my ServiceNow instance and here I will type AI Agent Studio and you would see an application and below this there are a few modules of AI Agent Studio. Now let me click on all of these one by one. Let's click on Overview and in Overview you would be able to see some ready-made use cases and AI agents or you can say these are the AI agents or agentic workflows which are out of the box. For example, generate change request plans, steps for issue resolution, problem investigator and so on. After this you would see here the list of all the use cases and use cases means agentic workflows. If you remember from previous video, agentic workflows are the use cases you want to achieve. And here you can see all the AI agents which are there in your system out of the box. And whenever you will create a custom one, you would be able to see them here as well. After this, we can go to testing from here, clicking on this tab or you can click here as well. I will click on testing and here you would see a playground where you can actually go and test your AI agents as well as your agentic workflows. So you have to select an AI agent or your use case or your agentic workflow and then you can put in some text and test that. We will do it later in the next video. Then we will click on settings and here you would see now assist guardian. So this is for putting some guardrails around your agentic AI. The first one is offensiveness. Now if your agent or some end user is typing some offensive language that would be captured if this is switched on. When I click on this toggle it would be switched on automatically and then you can click on edit and export to see all the offensive settings. So here the first one is log for offensive include information about request and conversation that contains offensiveness. And the second is block and log. So blocking will prevent the content from being generated and a standard message will be displayed instead. So this particular option will stop the conversation there itself and it will log as well. But if you just want to log just click on log. I will go back to the guardian. I will switch off the offensiveness as of now and then we have prompt injection. Now this protects you against the prompt injection attack by detecting malicious inputs and sanitizing output for the generative AI workflows. So you can click on configure and switch on the prompt injection as well. And when you switch it on again you will have couple of options when you click on edit and then it will ask you you just want to log or block and log similar to the first option. I will go back and I will just switch it off. And then we have analytics. So let me click on analytics and here you would see couple of dashboards on the left hand side usage and adoption 
सेल्फ सर्विस परफॉर्मेंस नाउ असिस्ट गार्डियन नाउ असिस्ट कॉन्टेक्स मेन्यू वैल्यू इन साइट सो दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर लुकिंग एट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ योर एजेंटिक ए आई हाउ इज इट डूइंग इज इट डूइंग वेल इज इट हेल्यूसिनेटिंग एंड ऑल दो स्टफ कैन बी सीन हेयर बाय योर एडमिन एंड देन दे कैन मेक एन इनफॉर्म डिसीजन हाउ टू प्लान देयर नेक्स्ट एक्शन this is a fresh service now instance that's why you don't see any reports or any data here but if you will be looking at your service now instances there would be some data if we are not using the now learning instance then we have usage and adoption how many daily now assist actions are happening so this is for now assist how many daily unique users are engaging with now assist and so on so there are multiple reports to figure out how the adoption of now assist or generative ai is happening in your organization and ai agents as well now i would type ai agent studio here again i will click on create and manage so this is where all the magic happens this is where you will go ahead and create your own use cases you will create your own ai agents so if you click on use cases or agentic workflows you would click on new to create a new one or you will click on ai agents to create a new ai agent which we would see in the upcoming videos and this is all in the ai agent studio i hope you like it i hope you liked it i'll see you in the next video